all-you-can-eat pizza buffet. There are two and a half pizzas left. You decide you're going to take half of the pizza that's left so the people behind you still have some. So we start out, you take half of the pepperoni pizza, you take half of the sausage pizza, but there's only half of a cheese pizza left, so you have to cut that in half, which means you wind up eating a fourth of the cheese pizza. So all together, we can combine our two halves to make one whole pizza, and then our fourth of a pizza means you wind up eating one and a fourth pizza total. Well, we can do that as an addition problem where we add our pieces together. It gets a little tricky because of the one-fourth, but it will still work. Or we can do it as a multiplication problem where we multiply one-half times two and a half. Now, a common mistake people make is since two and a half is a mixed number and one-half is a fraction, they go ahead and multiply the numerators of the fractions together and the denominators together. One-half times one-half would give me one-fourth, and then the whole number two just drags along, so their answer would be two and a fourth pizzas. Well, we know that's not right because we only ate one and a fourth pizza. So there has to be something more we need to do before we can solve that. First thing we need to do is take that two and a half and make that two part of the fraction again. So we need to change our mixed number into an improper fraction. To do that, I'm going to multiply the denominator of two times the whole number of two to give me four pieces, plus my numerator of one to give me five over two total. Now I can multiply the improper fraction of five over two times one half. Now multiplying our numerators, five times one gives us five, two times two gives us four, so we have the improper fraction five fourths. We can change five fourths into a mixed number by dividing our five by four. Four goes into five once with one left over, so that gives us the mixed number one and one fourth, which is the same amount we got when we actually picked up our pizza from the buffet. So when we multiply with mixed numbers and fractions, it's important to change that mixed number to an improper fraction before multiplying to get the correct solution. We're going to multiply 2 and 1 fourth times 2 thirds. The first thing we need to do is take our mixed number to turn it into an improper fraction to make sure the 2 gets multiplied with the rest of the problem. To do that, I'm going to multiply my denominator times my whole number to break it into pieces. So 4 times 2 gives me 8 pieces, plus the one I already had gives me a total of nine. So two and one fourth is equivalent to nine fourths. Now I can take that nine fourths and multiply it by my two thirds. Nine times two gives me 18. Four times three gives me 12. 18 twelfths is an improper fraction, which I'm gonna turn into a mixed number by dividing the numerator by the denominator. 12 goes into 18 once with six left over. So that six becomes my numerator and my denominator of 12 stays the same. One and six twelfths isn't quite finished though because six and 12 have several common factors. Their greatest common factor is six. So I'm gonna divide both six and 12 by six because that's their greatest common factor. Six divided by six gives me one, 12 divided by six gives me two, and I still have my whole number of one. So my final answer is going to be one and one half.